Today I'm going to scientifically prove if this $45 Stanley mug and it's all the rage these days is actually any better than this tumbler that says it does the exact same thing that I bought at my local Walmart for 14 bucks. And regardless of who wins, I'm going to compare these mugs to other nationally recognized brands like Awala, Yeti, Thermoflask, Zojirushi, and Turbis. If you've never heard of the Zojirushi company, this company was actually the winner of my video that I did two years ago trying to figure out which thermos was the best to purchase in the winter time to keep your liquids the hottest during the cold months. So I'm bringing it back for this video to see if it can retain its crown. I will be comparing each of these cups by putting cold water in them on a midsummer day in July in the south where temperature is over 90 degrees with an over 100 degree heat index. I'll take temperature readings at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 3 hours. To start the experiment, as I mentioned, I'm going to put cold water in every container. No ice will be added during this step and I'm filling them all essentially to the top. Once the water was filled in all the containers, four nearly identical ice cubes were placed in each jug. They were sealed and then taken outside where the temperature was 92 degrees with a 102 heat index. Now it was time to set the timer and wait 30 minutes. And I should add, at the beginning of the experiment, all the water came from the same bottle and I guess because of some probe variances, there's going to be about a 1 to 2 degree margin of error during the experiment. At the 30 minute mark, it was time to perform the first temperature check. Even at the first check, things were turning out to be more interesting than I thought. Our market leader by popularity and price had a rise in water temperature from 48 degrees to 51 degrees. Not not too bad on a sunny day like this. The Walmart jug had an increase in initial temperature from 50 to 51 degrees. So at the 30 minute mark, they're essentially neck and neck. $45? $14. Keep that in mind as we move forward. The 30 ounce Yeti had a similar 1 degree change from 50 to 51 degrees. And here's where things really got interesting. The water temperatures to all but one of the remaining canisters had decreased. The Thermoflask went from 51 to 46 degrees. The Zojirushi went from 46 to 42 degrees. The 20 ounce Stanley went from 50 to 45 degrees, while the 20 ounce Yeti went from 48 to 42 degrees. The Turvis mug was the only beverage container that didn't go down in temperature. It rose from 47 to 49 degrees. So at this point, they were all recapped. They were all left in the heat for another 30 more minutes until the next temperature check. And for the sake of this video not being too long, I'm going to give you the 60 minute data and the three hour data at the same time. So we're gonna to get to the winner of this competition really quick. Starting with the worst performer coming in at ninth place with a rise in temperature of 11 degrees is the 20 ounce Turvis. Next up coming in at number eight with a rise in water temperature of 10 degrees at the three hour mark, the 30 ounce Yeti. Honestly, I was kind of surprised about this. I thought it would do a little bit better. Now coming in at a tie with 6th place with a simultaneous 7 degree rise in water temperature is our 20 ounce Yeti, and you won't believe this, this main subject of our video, the 40 ounce Stanley. $45? $14. So we should be at no surprise coming in at 5th place, narrowly beating out the mug that cost 3 times as much by rising just 1 degree less in water temperature, the $14.99 Walmart mug. $45, $14. It's crazy to believe, but all of the remaining mugs actually came in with a water temperature lower than what they started with thanks to the four ice cubes. Coming in at fourth place was my daughter's thermos, the Oswala. It started out with a water temperature of 51 degrees and ultimately ended up with a water temperature of 48 degrees. That's a minus three degree drop and that's very impressive. Even more impressive is the number three spot which actually does go to Stanley. It's the 20 ounce tumbler. It started with a water temperature of 50 degrees and ended up at 48 degrees. Ultimately a net negative two degrees in water temperature change cooler. So now we're down to two remaining, the Thermo Flask and the Zojirushi. And to go straight to the winner, the Zojirushi. The Thermoflask went from 51 degrees to 47 with a very impressive minus four degree change. However, the Zojirushi went from 46 degrees down to 41 degrees, which is a minus five degree temperature change. So at least in my experiments, this company produces the best wintertime mug, the best summertime mug, and another cool thing, they kind of have this neat little locking mechanism right here. So if you don't want it to open, it's pretty neat. Unlock it you're good to go. So in conclusion, expensive works okay. Much cheaper works a little bit better. Zojirushi for the win. Have a great summer everybody and I'll see you next time.